As a seller, you can increase productivity by adding a fly cut to fly message. It allows you to create a quick shortcut and with just a few keystrokes, you can expand your text. There are different options to create a fly cut. You can either click on the add a fly cut button on the left side bar right over here, or you can also click on the add a fly cut button directly from your fly cuts page. Or if you're on your fly board, you can click add a fly cut right here. So those are the three ways that you can add a fly cut directly to fly message. In any way you choose, this add new fly cut window will pop up just like that. First, to add a fly cut, you want to choose the category that the fly cut will be loaded to. If you don't see a category that makes sense to you, go ahead and click cancel and simply add a new category right over here in the bottom left hand corner on the sidebar. For the sake of this fly cut, I'm going to select general. Now, my fly cut that I'm going to use is for booking a meeting with me. Let's go ahead and create a unique keystroke combination, such as book a meeting, all one word, lowercase. And oh, by the way, the fly cuts are case sensitive. Now the title to your fly cut is something that should help you understand what the purpose of this fly cut is for. In this case, I'm going to use use for booking a meeting with a prospect. You can label this title anything that you want. It'll help you categorize your content within Fly Message. Now comes the fun part and where all the flyness takes place. In the expanded text section, you'll create the text that you want to roll out every time you type your fly cut on a web page. So I've just typed this text into the expanded text section. And a couple things you want to be thinking about. If you would generally be using this as a brand new message to an individual, you might want to put things inside here like, hey, first name, so that all you have to do when you use your fly cut is double click on the name and personalize it. However, if you're like me, I generally use this message within an existing message exchange. So therefore, I'm not gonna use that first name. Once inside of here, and once you've written your text, you can now add font styling, headings, colors, bullet points, hyperlinks, images, and even videos. Keep in mind though, some web pages do not support rich text. For example, if I were to add an image into the uh, area here and upload something, LinkedIn on LinkedIn messaging does not support imagery. So it's very important that you remember that there are some sites that won't support that. You'll learn that in the simple text and rich text preview section when testing your fly cut. You might also consider hyperlinking various different URLs. As an example, instead of typing out the full URL here, I might cut that, edit this sentence, and hyperlink, here is the link. Click on insert edit link, bring the URL in, open it in, the, in a new window and click save, and now that is hyperlinked. To take it out, just right click and hit remove link. I personally like to have all of my links spelt out in the event that I'm using it on a web page that only accepts simple text format. Once you are done, now all you have to do is hit save. And there it is. Your fly cut is book a meeting. Your title for this is used for booking a meeting with a prospect. And if you want to expand the text right over here, just click the orange arrow. Remember, if you start making changes once you save a fly cut, like I'm doing now, notice what happens down over here in the bottom left-hand corner. Changes are automatically saved for you. To get back to all of your fly cuts, just mouse over here under fly cuts and it'll take you to this fly cuts page and you can also specifically go into any one of these categories here 
under as an example, all those related to podcasts or all those related to general. Super easy to navigate fly message and your fly cuts. The next thing you'll want to do is now test that specific fly cut in your testing panel. The next tutorial will show you how to test it in simple text preview and in rich text preview, why you'll want to do that.